Good morning and welcome to this Thought for the Day for Monday. And today we are again in the Psalms and Psalm 19, a great and inspiring Psalm of David. The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Day after day they pour forth speech. Night after night they display knowledge. There is no speech or language where their voice is not heard. Their voice goes out into all the earth, their words to the ends of the world. In the heavens he's pitched a tent for the sun, which is like a bridegroom coming forth from his pavilion, like a champion rejoicing to run his course. It rises in one end of the heavens and makes its circuit to the other. Nothing is hidden from its heat. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The statutes of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, giving joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are radiant, giving light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are sure and altogether righteous. They are more precious than gold, than much pure gold. They are sweeter than honey, than honey from the comb. By them is your servant warned. In keeping them there is great reward. Who can discern his errors? Forgive my hidden faults. Keep your servant also from willful sins. May they not rule over me. Then will I be blameless, innocent of great transgression. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight. O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. A fantastic psalm which uh, gives us a vivid picture of God revealed in creation. God revealed in his word. In these Covid times it's good to be reminded that there's nothing that can cut us off from the presence of God and from the knowledge of God. And indeed, even people who've never heard the explained the truths of the gospel or the wonders of the Bible can know about God just from looking out of the window and seeing the stars in the sky, the moon and the sun progressing its course day after day with utmost reliability. Creation tells of us, tells us and reveals to us the existence and the character of God. But of course he hasn't just left us with creation, but he's made him known to himself, himself known to us in his dealings with people and in his word and in the law that he has given to us. And so in the second half of the psalm, we see this other part of Revelation which gives us so much clearer a direction for our lives. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The statutes are trustworthy, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, giving joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are radiant, giving light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. trustworthy, giving joy, giving light, enduring forever. And I hope that we value and take to ourselves the truths that we find revealed in the scriptures. Each day, our thoughts for the day begin with a Bible reading and go on to speak about that Bible reading and the way in which it applies to our daily lives. All our sermons are based, I trust, always on Scripture and making it known. And uh, I hope that you are someone who rejoices in God's Word, finds it sweeter than honey, finds it more precious than gold. The psalmist had found the clue to life in all its fullness, life in relationship with God, 
life at its very best. Not always life that it was easy, not that life was filled with difficulty, but life that was finding God's way day by day. And I trust that that's your experience and that that's your aim as you enter into this new day and this new week. Have a great week.